we the people. We are the people. We are the government. Where does it? Where can we draw the line and say, all right? Enough. Well, listen. I think lawsuits properly prepared at the state and federal level are the way to go. The globalists are scared of them. That's why they call it paper terrorism, uh, but it's not. I mean, if it's frivolous and, 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 and not directed correctly, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's frivolous. Uh, but I think it's a great thing to do. I mean, look at how a bunch of ambulance-chasing lawyers have screwed stuff up. Well, what about patriots filing lawsuits? That certainly draws attention to what's happening and does have an effect. So I think it's a great idea. Uh, but, but, but more importantly, voting with our dollars, boycotting establishment companies, supporting companies and individuals and groups that are promoting freedom. That's one of our biggest powers we've got left. Alex, also, uh, like you said, I've heard you say before, uh, Third Continental Congress or whatever it was you had said before. How about a, a, a realignment? How about a realignment that excludes uh, the, the, the pulling the rug out? No, I hear you. The feds are illegitimate. We have to educate GCN. folks about that first. Stay with us. Overdrive coming up. Demand for expensive bulletproof home shelters more than doubles. And that's what we've told you about a lot until it hit mainstream news like the New York Times and the London Guardian. They're also relocating uh, to areas of the Pacific Ocean. Why did the globalists do this? Because they just can't control themselves. They all want to steal and do things that help them individually, but in the end, bring down the whole society. They just don't have a sense of you reap what you sow. Don't do bad things. They come back on you. Malik in California, thanks for holding her on the air. Okay, he's not there. Uh, we'll go ahead now and go to Frank in Ohio. You're on the air. Go ahead, Frank. Alex, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. All right, brother, tell me what you're thinking. I'm thinking that, you know, they, they want to talk about the Constitution. The, the judge up on a stand the other day here in Cleveland wants to talk about the Constitution for the cop and, and this and that. Well, what about them being out of their jurisdiction when they went at chasing after those two travelers in that in that car? What, well, what, what happens is a lot of cops who aren't even bad people just shouldn't be cops and get too adrenaline, you know, rushing once they chase somebody. Uh, and then they, he just jumped out of the car like he was Superman and jumped on their hood and killed them in cold blood and they were unarmed. And uh, it's it's scary. I mean, it, and people say, well, do what the cop says and you won't die. And I and see, as society unravels, there'll be more and more of an instinct to either hate the cops or back them no matter what they do. We need to understand that we're being played off against each other. But what's your take on the cop not getting in trouble? Uh, the cop not getting in trouble, it's more uh, corporate uh, overreach where they, they, they're, they're, uh, they have more rights than the people do anymore. Well, I mean, all the time cops kill white people uh, in the wrong and, 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 they, and there's cover-ups or whatever. And, I, and it's terrible. Or Hispanics, the difference is Al Sharpton and the media tell blacks it's because they're black. And I'm sure sometimes it is. But most of the time, it's the paramilitary training. Uh, most of the time, uh, it is the... You know, just the whole shoot first, ask questions, uh, you know, later mentality, and then that's being exacerbated. But at the same time, when government more and more becomes above the law, uh, you're going to see people taking the law into their own hands. But but what's crazy is folks that want to go after the, the police, they'll just randomly go shoot some cop in the head. I mean, you know, that's what's so stupid about this. I mean, if you think somebody killed your brother wrongfully, I'm not saying do this, uh, but you would end up, you know, trying to find who actually did it, not randomly. But it's like some of these racist black folks that go out and find an, a white person. Well, I'm mad a cop killed a black guy, so I'm going to go kill an old white lady. Well, well, I mean, that'd be like if a black guy, you know, killed a white woman. Let's just go randomly find a black guy and kill him. It's just mindless tribal gang type thinking. But that's what the media instills and programs into people. The cops haven't been taught the laws. They, 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 they know the legal, but they don't know the lawful. Well, I'll tell you, like the biggest every, thing is that every cop show I watch is just cops torturing and killing and, and, and beating people up for no reason. And situationally, with a situational ethic, it's almost always right that they did it. Well, cops are watching this believing then if they feel like it, they can do it. And it, 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 It's mind control is what it is. Plus, there's more cameras. So it's creating the perception that there's a massive increase in this. Uh, and really there's not because violent crime has dropped so much because of gun ownership. There's less bad situations. 
there probably is an increase in cops overreaching. But if you add that into the fact that there's less violence total, uh, it appears to be flat or actually lowering overall police misconduct. And I made a real study of it. Uh, doesn't mean that it shouldn't be dealt with. It isn't a problem. But it's not as big as the dollar in trouble, World War III looming, cancer viruses and the vaccines, 17 million black babies aborted. I mean, we've got a lot of big issues here. George Soros isn't setting my agenda to hate the cops. That's all I'm saying. There's a reason that's being done. But I hear you, Frank. That judge is out of control. That cop should have gotten in trouble for what he did.